This is experiment five, pH titration of acetic acid with sodium carbonate, pH titration. So we're gonna actually do the titration now. I've got uh, done a couple things as far as the pH titration part of the lab uh, ahead of time. So I got my 150 milliliters of vinegar. I then uh, conditioned my pipette with the vinegar pipetted 20 milliliters of vinegar, 2.00 milliliters at a time, so 10 times. Then I conditioned uh, my uh, pipette actually with distilled water after the vinegar and then with the sodium carbonate solution. And now I'm ready to go. So I've got my sodium carbonate solution I don't need my extra vinegar, those are for the other titrations. I've got my titration solution right here. I've got my pH tester, which I've already calibrated, and I'm ready to go. And I've got my data table, and uh, it says uh, with zero milliliters, um, and then my total is going to be zero, I'm going to take the pH. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to test the pH. And you can see I don't have a lot of solutions, so I'm going to curve it a little bit and swirl it for 5 to 10 seconds. And as long as that glass piece is under the water, under the solution in this case, we're good. And my initial pH, let's see if I can keep it under there and show it to you. We'll focus on it, but it's 1.86. And I'm actually not going to uh, rinse it with distilled water each time. Now I am going to add two milliliters, nominally two milliliters. Uh, actually, eh, yeah, I'll keep it there. I'm just going to put it to the side. I want to put my two milliliters in without hitting the pH tester exactly at the 2.0 line. You'll notice when you add the sodium carbonate, you get some bubbles in there. Give it five or 10 seconds of swirling, then record the pH. Seems stuck there, but five or ten seconds, let it sit. You should get a constant number. It is staying at 3.34. And the way I'm filling out this chart is I put in my two milliliters, two milliliters. Uh, my actual amount that I get each time I put it right at that two point. Uh, so that uh, two milliliter line is 2.01 from experiment two. I'll fill that in later, and then I'll add everything up for my running total after I'm finished here. All right, so, yep. Now I'm gonna add two more milliliters. Stay. This is close to that line, meniscus. Empty everything in there. Bubbles. Actually, yeah. I guess we'll give it five or 10 seconds for the bubbles to go away. And I get my new pH value. That's pretty stable. It's actually flicking between two different numbers. That's pretty stable. Now for the rest of this titration, you're going to add two milliliters, uh, two milliliters until you get somewhere around pH five or six. Then you're gonna start adding one milliliter at a time uh, nominally, and then 0.5 milliliters at a time. And once you get to 
pH 6, you should be only adding 0.5 milliliters at a time. Keep track of every single time that you do it and um, go all the way through to a pH of, well, that's a good question. Well, let's say this, until the pH flattens out. Then uh, after the big rise in pH around pH seven to eight, allow the pH to flatten out, give it three or four more points. You should be doing two milliliters at a time uh, after it flattens out for three or four points as well.